this store here just ran out of power in San Francisco. And compared to what Target and Burn City threw away, they're putting all this out here for the community. It's just fantastic. None of it gets wasted, everybody gets to benefit. This is how food fishing works. Fantastic. So instead of all this going to waste, this perfectly good stuff, all of it's unexpired from the store here. The community can come and get free stuff. All of it's still perfectly fine. And way better than throwing it out compared to what Target and Marine City did. They just tossed out everything. Yeah. Look at this. Great way to benefit the community. I mean, look at all this stuff. What, what do we have here? Red wine vinaigrette. That just, it's perfectly good. There you go. There's ice cream. All kinds of stuff. This is just amazing. Just perfect way to deal with food waste. Power went out and here we are. Look at all this stuff. Everybody can take it for what they want and the store is happy about it. It's just perfect. Amazing. All kinds of stuff. Got some ice cream? <laughs> More stuff down there. Bags of stuff. All kinds of everything. Everybody's here. Can I load these in here? Yeah. A couple more burritos. All right, there we go. They're probably good. Oh, oh, it's like milkshake by now. All this. Coconut cream pies, and then chocolate cream pie. Wow. Is that for dessert? Is that really cream pie? Oh. There is some fish <laughs> over there. There's boxes. Are you getting some boxes of this is all plant-based stuff lettuce and spinach and things in here hey i gave him some do you want to think of arugula yes there you go there's some good stuff you got some good stuff man so that was like a good haul <laughs> yeah we oh, got right. Nice. Yeah, like four people, including me, we're going to try it. Well, it's nice we can benefit from this, right? Everybody, everybody's going to be like jazzed with the ice cream. Let's go. <laughs> everybody's just picking through here. Filling up the carts. We got meat over here. Yeah, the power went out. It's a great solution to do this. This is what you like to see. All kinds of good stuff here. We're even undoing the bag. People are just picking through all of it. Let's see what's in here. What we got? Pizza dough, ice cream. Is this bacon? Frozen bacon. That's what I'm talking about. What we got here? Dairy free ice cream sandwiches? Nah. Bagels, bread. All kinds of gluten free stuff. I don't know. I think he might have left. He had his backpack full. All kinds of stuff here. You want another bacon? Yeah. Let's check in here. What is this? Cheddar breakfast sandwiches. I'll take a couple of those. There you go. Those are good. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Pizza? Is that bread? It's all bread. It's so cold. I know, it's just been frozen. Yeah. I think. Would you like the sourdough? Pick one of the sourdough? Sure. Sourdoughs? Cashew cookie. Okay, let's see that. All right. Okay. You got the bread too? All right. Oh, that's fantastic. What about that last bag there? I think it's, oh, there is more stuff. Look at this pies. See, this does not need to be thrown out. This is good stuff. Good thing they're putting it out here. Dairy free. It's all this plant based stuff, you know? Yeah, pies. Pumpkin and chocolate pie. Wait, can we try this? Look at that. Uh, I don't know if I would like Can I try it? Yeah. All right. Here. Okay. I'll take one of those. Okay. Load up. All right. This is just amazing. Perfect. Look at all this stuff. The store has a power edge and they're putting all this out here for free instead of throwing it away. The whole community is here. This is just fantastic.
here's a little overview of everything we just found at the store that ran out of power. They put everything out on the street for the community. All kinds of frozen stuff, fridge stuff. We're going to be able to use all this. This compared to Target, they didn't have to throw any of it out. Just fantastic. So, I mean, there's like hummus, there's pies, there's pre-cooked meat, there's pizza, there's freaking breakfast sandwiches, frozen dinners. Just amazing. All right, so here's a better overview of just some of the stuff that we found um, that this store was putting out. Again, it's... um. I think it's the Hate Street Market in San Francisco. We just happened to be down there trying to do some consignment and things and um, parked in the right spot at the right time across the street. There's just this massive pile of stuff laid out, as you saw previously in the video, um, for anyone to just come and take it. Because, you know, first of all, there in San Francisco, you don't have a lot of room to put stuff in the garbage anyway. And plus, this is such a better thing to do for the community and everybody can benefit. I mean, there's people there who live in house shares, older people, people just walking by, shopping, just grabbing stuff, you know. Um, it's everything from three packs of ice cream to plant-based meat to hummus to nectarines and massive chunks of lamb. I mean, just everything. Because um, their power went out there at that store and this is what we got instead. So, Target power goes out. They fill an entire 20 yard, eight foot tall dumpster with every perishable thing from the entire store gets thrown out. No benefit to the community, like a major lose situation. And here at this little store, they have a power outage. They put it all out in bags and boxes out on the sidewalk for the community to come pick through and everybody can come take as they please. Not only does it prevent the food waste, it battles climate change and it helps people to save money on food. You know, to be honest, we could use a couple things of free food right now because why not, right? Who wants to save some money during the inflation? So it's just great that if the store has a power outage, this is what you want to see is store owners who are actively out there encouraging people to take stuff. Absolutely no problem with it. And I mean, it's just a great thing to stumble upon. So that's that's one of the nice aspects of the Bay Area is typically you find stuff like this that Target in Marin City, um, really not good. So anyway, I just wanted to show this in comparison to my Target video, by the way. Thank you for helping that make my channel so successful. Just alone from that um, one five second short video I posted at Target just showing what the dumpster looked like half full of food. That gave my channel like almost 250 subscribers alone and we're almost at a thousand. Uh, I know I haven't posted much since then, just because I'm trying to give that video and my other full-length one time to, you know, be at the top of my channel page and people can see it, because I want people to see what happens with the, when the world wants out of power, is we have this kind of waste. So, I'm planning on posting this pretty soon. Uh, this is July 25th as I'm filming this. I'm about to put it all in my fridge and freezer. Where we live right now, we kind of have a bit of a small fridge space, and not the most freezer space, but I'm, from finding stuff, I am good at packing things into small spaces, so... We're gonna make this work. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of this. <laughs> just get to the point. There's just like some uh, sage breakfast sausage, um, a lot of plant-based stuff as well. Some cilantro sauce, baba hummus, more hummus. There's these smoked bacon bits, which just looks fantastic if you're not vegetarian. Um, our sola pesto sauce, two of those, several boxes of these chicken apple things. They kind of opened once we got them, but they're fine. Uh, full on ham shank here, which is nice. I mean, what else do you have? There's like homemade vinaigrette, Parmesan cheese, little pies, um, these boxes of breakfast sandwiches, um, a ton of burritos, like love Suki's, um, and Amy's burritos of vegetable based, some fish. It's all still frozen. This is cold to the touch. You can probably see the bags wet. Um, frozen dinners, chicken sliders, I mean, pizza, shredded meat, two packs of bacon, um, like these little chocolate cream pie desserts, uh, you know, store made spaghetti and meatballs. Those are 11 bucks a piece if you buy those. Um, so like a whole strawberry rhubarb pie, a pumpkin chocolate pie looks fantastic. Um, naturally smoked turkey thighs, ready to eat meat. I mean, the stuff here is just amazing. So you can see the fact that they didn't throw this out instead put it to benefit the community and the environment when they ran out of power is just amazing. So really happy to stumble upon this. Excited to show everybody this. And yeah, this is a prime example of what you wanna see if there's power outage and an opportunity to avoid massive food waste. Everybody at that store was so nice. They were bringing things out, encouraging people to take it. There were like 20 people there at a time picking through boxes of stuff. I mean, this is only like, I don't know, like I'd probably like 
30 times what we have here that's there. Maybe more like 40 times what we got is there. We have took like about five, maybe not like four bags full, um, all still there. And half of it's already gone by now. I mean, you know, it's getting warmer in the day. It's power's been out for a little while, but it's also cold. People are taking it, filling up their bags. Like I said, local residents who can use it, people walking by, anybody who's curious about it. Several, several people were asking me like, is this just a free for all? Is it, are they giving it away? And I'm like, heck yeah. And they said, you know, the old market owners were really big on donating to the community. So this is more of a community-based store as opposed to corporate like Target, which has just ruined the world. But anyway, just a great sighting. Going to get to putting this stuff away. Wanted to show you how great all this is. Just really amazing. I guess we'll make room. This is all so Major props to the Hate Street Market for putting all this stuff out. People can fix it instead of throwing it away. It's all still good. Amazing community stuff.